I've also taken a careful look at the report and also looked in detail, particularly the recommendations uh, put out in the report. Because if you put an assess in context, the gory nature of the incident and the story has to be told by the report. If we adopt this report, have the greatest of respect to the committee that has done the very professional work. Um, I don't think, person, this is my personal view, I don't think we would have done justice to the victims of this barbaric and horrific attack uh, visited on innocent lives. So, if you do, I want to make comment to the report and the motion. I am of the position that we should not adopt the report because if we do adopt the report, what it means is that the House will be bound by the recommendations in the report. And in my view, it's a very lame uh, punitive measures which will not be far-reaching enough. So for once, we have to bear our teeth. We have to bear our teeth clearly to the military officers who are involved. Yes, we've seen some 13 days, 14 days detention measures met at. It's not enough. It is definitely not enough. And I would want to wish that we go further to the recommendations uh, prescribed in this report and put out a much more punitive measures. Speaker, it's not just to punish the perpetrators of this act, but also to send a signal out there that if you serve in the military, a certain deliverables are expected of you. A certain professional life are expected of you. And we cannot be seen to be toying with the lives of our people. The very taxpayers' money which is used to pay these military officers. So, Speaker, even though I speak to the report, I'm unable to support an attempt to adopt it. I think we should reject the report and we should look at the recommendations again and maybe add more flesh and more flesh to the recommendations particularly, and even where there should be compensation, speaking in agreement with my colleague, there must be a bit of certainty in terms of the volume and the kind of um, recommendations that the committee is putting out to be adopted. I think that it is only when, when we do that, that the Ghanaian people will see that, yes, Parliament uh, has really bare its teeth, and that the 14 days and the 13 days detention handed over to these perpetrators of this uh, uh, crime, so to speak, has really, really been dealt with, and, and we, we've not allowed them to go off the hook. Speaker, let me conclude on a point made on a civilian military relationship. I don't know if it's part of the training template handed over to uh, recruits who go through military training. If it is, then probably we have to up it and do an assessment to, to realize whether indeed the kind of training or the content of the training is enough based on the, the vagaries of activities and the changes of uh, activities we are witnessing in various places and communities. And now we must put out that red light for everybody to realize, particularly those who serve in the military, that you cannot take the law in your hands. So because they cannot take the law into their hands and misbehave anyhow thinking that, okay, if we look at our code of conduct, we will be handed some 30 day or 14 days detention, and that will be all. On this occasion, we must go beyond it. We must bear our teeth and send a signal clear to, to our colleagues and our compatriots that this country is a serious country, and as a law-abiding country, a democratic country, if you fall foul of the law, the law will squarely deal with you and will fall on your head as an axe. So, Speaker, I, I speak to the, the motion, but I'm of the strongest view 
that we shouldn't adopt this report. The committee should go back and do a proper work, so to speak, add more to the recommendations and come back for, for us to take a decision on, on, on this matter. So